In today's video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite concepts out of the far tight slot in the West Coast playbook. Uh, we've been doing kind of a little bit of a mini series on this playbook. Going to show you one of my favorite uh, setups. This is kind of a makeshift trail concept, and it also will serve as kind of a, a general slant post as well. And we're going to utilize this setup out of the play X spot. Now we've got a lot of setups out of X spot. I think X spot is one of the most versatile uh, passing concepts in the game. And the reason why is because you have two really powerful routes. You have a corner route and you have a post route. And we're going to kind of build around those two routes. So uh, what we're going to do now for this setup today, I really recommend having a backfield master or a hot route master quarterback. It's going to help. If you don't have it, you can still kind of uh, run the setup and I'll show you how to do that. But basically what we're going to do here is we are going to take our uh, receiver here, Smith, and we're going to put him on a crossing route, a drag route, or a uh, slant. I like to put him on a drag. And then the backside receiver here, we're gonna put him on a streak. And then with the running back, we're gonna put him on a Texas pattern uh, or an angle route. And what you'll see is this is gonna create a really nice little trail concept. And this Texas route is gonna be almost unguardable. And it's actually going to kind of change the, how the defense is going to play you. The reason why is because what often is gonna take place is they're gonna kind of work themselves into a coverage that basically looks like this right here. And that coverage is gonna require them to have to user the tight end on this, on this, um, this post route. But with this drag route, it's gonna pull that flat zone out and then you're gonna be able to throw that Texas pattern in behind it as kind of a unique little trail concept. Now, if the user decides that they want to come down and they want to user the running back route, it would look something like this uh, basic cover for defense. Then what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna be able to hit your tight end post and your tight end post is going to get over the top of every zone drop in the game. That post route will get over the top of 30 yard cloud flats every single time. Now, if you like this video, make sure that you're in the Patreon. This is where we get you access to all of our offensive and defensive eBooks. And it will, I guarantee it's gonna make you a better Madden player if you're in the Patreon page, because you get access to everything, all the new concepts, everything uh, for just 10 bucks. So if you wanna sign up, the link's in the description. Now against match coverage, this is also a really good play. Uh, and the reason why is because match coverage in general struggles to defend crossing patterns. Now, the one thing I will say uh, about match coverage is this running back should really uh, put a lot of stress on match coverage. And the reason why the running back is gonna put a lot of stress on match coverage is because the three rack hook defender is gonna be in conflict because of this drag route. And then also that quarter flat is now in conflict. So you see everything is in conflict. The running back comes wide open late in the play and we just gotta be able to get him in the football. But I tr trust me in Madden 24, um, you will be able to get him in the football because they fixed free form a little bit to a degree, especially over the middle passing. Um, and we'll show it to you again here, but you see how this drag just, it literally takes two or three defenders and then the running back is gonna be left open over the middle of the field. Now, the other thing that you can do specifically against match coverage or even man coverage if you're struggling to beat man coverage is utilize that tight end apprentice post and the cool part about the tight end apprentice post is it's going to be a little bit sharper of a cut and it's going to make it a little bit more effective as you can see right there at being able to be uh, consistent against both man coverage and match coverage i'll show you man coverage here real quick so against man coverage, uh, sometimes that sharp or that deeper post route's not gonna get open, but if you utilize this tight end apprentice post, then what you should see here is a pretty simple um, way to get him open. Also, your running back should be open against uh, man coverage. So please don't sleep on the running back. It's literally, you wanna kind of think of the running back route, honestly, as like a slant route. And there's a lot of cool things you can do with far tight slot in terms of the motion snaps and all that. And so you'll see here, like, see, I just absolutely cooks the man coverage and I'm able to throw that over the middle of the field. And that guy, I believe, has inside shade and deep route KO. So, and, and my running back doesn't have any uh, route running abilities whatsoever. And then also, real quick, this tight end post, if you use this sharp cutting post, then uh, what you'll see with the sharp cutting post route is he'll kind of get over here and you can kind of ag back to the ball to avoid any kind of KOs or anything like that. Now, if you're watching this video and you're like, Cody, I really want to run this setup, but I just, I don't have uh, a backfield master. I don't, I don't have that or I don't have a master. Really the best way to run this 
is to utilize the seam wheel from the running back and utilize a slant route. What this is going to do is it's going to still kind of keep that same concept, and you're going to be able to throw this in the seam area of the field just like that. And then that seam wheel is also going to serve as a really good clear out route for your tight end route because your tight end route will kind of come underneath it. Now, if you're going to run this setup, I really recommend utilizing either a smart routed in or a tight end apprentice post. And the reason why is because as you can see, that route doesn't necessarily get super open because they kind of run into each other. But if you utilize um, a, a smart routed in route, you'll see a little bit easier of separation and it's going to be a little bit more consistent for you. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to take your Madden game to the next level, join the Patreon. Ten bucks will get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks that we have in there, as well as all of the content we're going to release while your membership is active. So make sure you're in the Patreon today. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.